guys so goji here welcome to the unboxing of the uh, toycon ph 2022 event exclusive uh, robot damashi rx78 gp01 the ver anime it's the first touch edition so here's the front of the box so you can see the silhouette of the mobile suit over here with some sins in the movie stardust memory so you have here the uh, Tamashi Nation's quality seal, Bandai's logo, the uh, Bandai Blue Spirits one. One to the box, the side of the box, you can see the name, of the product, together with the lo logos of the robot Tamashi and anime version. The back is the whole anime version uh, marketing thing. <laughs> So at the other side, we have here the silhouette again of the mobile suit, the name, the bottom, same name, and the name again. So let's take a look at the insides of the box. So we are presented here with a, uh, some lineup, uh, of upcoming Robot Damashi lineup figures. So there's some QR codes over here. And I think there's an, an instruction manual over here. In the fold-out style, which features some articulation features of the figure and uh, the accessories. So how to use the accessories included. There's um, like quite plenty of them here. So let's take a look at the figure itself. We unbox this clamshell style box. So, right off the bat, we are presented with the figure itself, the GP01, his shield, some blaster and a beam saber effect. And I, I think this is a thruster effect, if I'm not mistaken. An extra V fin, an extra an head antenna, some ammunition, some hands quite a lot of hands uh, one two three four four pairs of hands uh, the beam rifle so a pair of beam sabers and I'm not quite sure what uh, this weapon is uh, named so there's an extra I think this is like a machine gun of some sorts and a storage for the hand uh, for the pairs of hands so you don't need to scramble around in finding hands if you use this organizer so i will lift off all the accessories from the box and give you some articulation features and how to use the accessories included in the box and some uh, poses so i will transition but the mobile suit itself first and it's uh aesthetic so here's the head part so it's quite the iconic uh, gp01 like mm, head sculpt for the for this one so you can take a closer look at it so the panel lines aren't uh, aren't filled in so if you like your uh, gundams very detailed so the channels in here are pretty deep so you can fill out some of the uh, unpainted panel lines over here but overall it's quite good even if it, it isn't panel lined as such so you can see some a decal here the right shoulder and the paints of in the cameras both in eyes and the head cameras and the shoulder cameras and some chest cameras over here are nicely painted so they're very uh, good when it acts with the light source you have so here's the body so unfortunately this doesn't have a core booster feature so all you have here is a body it doesn't transform into a core booster so shoulders the arms the hips doesn't have the I think the GPO one really doesn't have the iconic V uh, logo on the crotch so yeah it's pretty much accurate here's the hips thrusters at the hips the legs the iconic red lines at the knees of the GPO one are here all painted up and here's the feet 
there's cameras at the feet. So overall, the painting of the figure is quite phenomenal. I don't have any issues with the, any of the paints. And over here at the back, you can see uh, two shades of gray. There's a bluish kind of gray and a greenish kind of gray. And the back of the, or the under of the thrusters are also painted. Also with this thing over here, the middle section of the back thrusters. So for the articulation, so this head antenna does move. So if you prefer it going up or slid down over that, that you can do that. So the head uh, articulates quite well. So it's featured in the manual that it can really look up really far. Uh, featured right over there. So if you can see that. So it does the Mekagai Kotsu Giri 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 Gu. So if you combine that articulation feature, so he can really look up really it's almost like 90 degrees or as such so if you prefer the GPO one in a flying pose or in a climbing up pose so he can really nail that with an extreme amount of articulation in the head so it does what a ball joint does it swivels really tight joints over here and Rotates 360 degrees. So yeah, that's for the head articulation. So for the arm articulation, there's quite a bit of uh, steps you have to do to unlock the full range. Because if you don't uh, follow the instructions, so you might find yourself stuck with a 90 degree uh, bend. So if you follow this one, so you can really push it up almost the straight angle it has a uh, extra joint up here to really allow for that really high arm articulation so for the elbow movement does uh, it's double jointed but it doesn't go all 90 degrees because of the armor over here so it need, but I think without the armor it will really tuck in in there so yeah so for the uh, hip and chest articulation it really it's also featured here so as you can see over there it can really bend so if you really like your ab crunch you will be extremely satisfied with how this one does his back so his ab crunch so at the back uh, his uh, backwards ab, cr ab crunch or upwards is kind of uh, limited because of the back pa. so and the armor over there so yeah that's the mo that's the most extreme upwards backward ab crunch you can do but for the front it's really together with the added articulation of the backpack over here it really sets apart and really gives you a dynamic pose if you really want for it to have that so there's the hip articulation and for the uh, leg articulation it's also featured it, it has a uh, you see here a joint that's supported with the metal screw so it has a uh, sliding down gimmick that gives you a wider range so if you can see the mechanism here it's slide pulls back down so it allows for a greater uh, upwards movement of the leg so you can see that's an extreme it's only limited by the hip skirts over here so if i push in it hard this uh hip skirts will pop up so yeah there's that and for the knee bend uh, it has an awesome gimmick that uh, separates the knee armor so you can look take a look at the mechanism here there you go this one has its own articulation to it if you move the leg so if you're done articulating with a leg hip connection that the mechanism there you can slide it back up for a more uh, bulky silhouette for this part so for the fit articulation it's it 
functions quite well, but it's not uh, very that much. It articulates to this side nicely, but for the other side, it's kind of limited. So that's the here's the functional movement if you're familiar with. So that's the most extreme that the feet can handle. So if you can see that. So for the splits, unfortunately, this doesn't have uh, splits right away if you're not familiar to how how to work out some joints. So if you combine the uh, sliding down mechanism at the hip for both of the sides, just a while. There you go. And uh, push up the side thrusters. So you can can get quite some of the hip splits but that's the most that you can get due to the plastics over here so yeah that's the most split they can have but I uh, doubt that you'll be ever using any splits that's more extreme for this in a practical action pose setting so I think this is perfect for the figure so I think that's all for the articulation features of the GPO-1 First Touch Edition Robot Damashi. Here's the whole host of accessories that the uh, Gundam GPO-1 Robot Damashi First Touch Ver Anime Edition has to offer. So let's take a look at the beam saber, uh, beam rifle effects first. So here's them, yeah, three. So this one is for a beam saber, it's a more thinner one and this one is for the beam rifle effect and this one is a like a blasting effect for the beam rifle so what you will do is uh, you connect this like that and get your beam rifle over here you can see nicely painted sights over here very well, but there you go and you just insert this there you go you get a beam rifle with a blasting effect and a long it's very long here's the gun dump itself for comparison so it's, it's a nifty effect if you want to get a more dynamic pose of it and not to mention this two are also uh, compatible for the beam saber so if you want uh, a dual wielding Gundam with be both beam sabers activated you can do that here's the beam sa saber hilt and just insert it right over here there you go and also for the other one you can also insert it for the other beam saber hilt and you can have yourself a Gundam with a dual wielding beam saber so it's pretty nice you can also add the blasting effect if you want for the beam saber effect so it's pretty interchangeable if your imagination is the limit so yeah it's pretty nice so that's all for the beam saber and here's the rifle again beam rifle it's made out of uh, two it seems like two gray plastics uh, combined together so, yeah. take a look it's not painted so I would have preferred to have this painted but I uh, don't know that's Bandai so we can't do anything about it so it's this one is articulated if you want your Gundam holding on to this if he shoots the beam rifle here's, the sights are also articulated over here and here's the other, and I'm not familiar with the name of this, but I think this is like a beam machine gun. So it's not articulated at all. So, but it has a little, pretty little sight over here that's painted, so that's nice. One issue about this one too is I'm about to tackle later. It's its lack of uh, storage capabilities in the Gundam itself. This cannot be stored in the Gundam if you, if you don't want to use it. So here are a whole host of 
uh, like joints to combine so these joints are for the shield so if you want a more straightforward fit for the shield you'll use this smaller one and but if you want a more articulated uh, and if you want to position the shield at the back of the arm of the Gundam so you'll use this so yeah I'll try to show you how this works inserts at the back of the shield over here so it's a more simple fit oh. as shown here and it's quite difficult to manage this small peg to fit into there it's quite strong <laughs> So turns out I was wrong. This smaller uh, joint peg over here at the for the shield doesn't connect to the back of the arms. It connects to the back of the uh, she of the backpack. So if you want the shield to be positioned at the backpack, so you insert it there, and there you go. You have the GPO one holding onto his shield, the backpack. So if you want more storage, so. If, if you want to use the other one, there's this joint. You want to use this joint for if you want to position the shield at the back of his arms. So I'll sort this out for a bit. Now you have the uh, this connector attached. As you can see here, the ball and socket joint at the shield. And you can raise this one up and insert it at the back easily. Like this there you go you have your gundam equipped with a shield it's a very nice shield and you can also articulate it if you want this one has really tight joints so i advise you to have proper precaution when handling the joints so let's position him over here with the shield and next up are the uh, ammunition so you can store these at the back of the shield if you don't want to use them so there's like pegs over at the back you can see these pegs over right there so you can store these at those pegs for proper extra ammunition for the Gundam oh. and the last of the connector type accessories over here is the uh, storage option for the beam rifle so all you have to do is to position this right and you will position the back handle of the back of the beam rifle like this and it will fit snugly and you see this peg over here it will connect to the backpack if you don't want to Oh, and also remember to position the sights at the side so it won't bump. There you go. So you have the Gundam uh, storage with the beam rifle at its backpack. If you don't want to use it. Yeah, so I also forgot to mention that you can also insert the beam effects into this beam machine gun type properly fits in there if you want to use this gun so other small accessories over here are an extra pair of Vivian and the un un head antenna so I think these are not the soft PVC plastics that uh, you expect from an extra pair so this comes in the same plastic as the Gundam itself so I advise extra precaution when uh, handling the included ones at the Gundam and with this extra ones so you also have as uh, seen previously a pair of beam sabers and lastly the hands so we have here uh, a pair of beam beam saber holding hands so you can 
One, two, and three. So here's the beams, uh, beam saber holding hands again, and some uh, relaxed hands, and some beam rifle holding hands if you want to have your Gundam supported by his other hand when uh, firing a rifle. And some, I don't know what this is, but I think, oh, I might be on you know, this worthy. Uh, beam saber holding hands for a more snug fit and the other ones were for the beam rifle so I'll try to record some action poses for you to see the these hands in action 